Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. So, you notice I'm in a different location at the moment. I am back here. Because I want to do all these quests that I need for Aetherite Currents. Because I have gotten every single current in all the locations. And so I need to do these to actually be able to fly. Also, I got a new attire currently and I'm rocking the original Final Fantasy VIII Revolver Gunblade. I think this is like Maki armor I got from the gold saucer. I actually quite like the looks of it. I don't care for the headpiece though, it's a bit too much. Oh, I like to hide it. Yeah. We got two quests here and a few more in other locations. Murfler. The flame burns no more. Murfler regards you with a mixture of re reverence and uncertainty. Great and mighty Bader, I have heard tell of your victory over Valag Demanda. You protected our land, and for that, I, Murfler, express my deepest gratitude. I wish only that I could have seen the battle in my own eyes. As a warrior of the Yokoi, I cannot fathom how one of your diminutive stature laid low to the fearsome Skyrim. Thus do I ask if you would demonstrate your martial prowess. Eh. I thank you for this honor. Of late, hulking monsters have incited south of the Shades of Grief, endangering all who travel along the road. I bid you to snuff out this threat, that I might see for myself how you subdue the, uh, your foes. I shall go there now. Join me when you're prepared. Alright, let's go there. And with the way I do my uh, chapters, I'll come back in and accept that one after. Mm, got the purple bird today. But yeah, I want to do these quests. I'm like, ah, oh, sure, I'll record and why not? Sadly, this will be most of the episode because I have two, four, six, probably eight or ten quests to do. The only location I haven't done my. Wait, did I do it? I think I did all locations, but technically Alexandria, where they're calling it. I haven't done the currents in that location. Where? There we go. Alright, so I have a fight up ahead that requires me... Oh, you already killed it, never mind. Or is that... is it hunting those? Glad I am to see you not lose your way. As for one, it made a mistake of picking a fight with me. There was another, but unlike its comrade, it had good sense to flee. Not far, however, it stalks us from the shadows, yet thirsting for blood. These beasts are formidable indeed, possessed of strength equal to their keen senses. I would have you hunt down that the one that remains. Follow its tracks to the southwest. Doubtless, it will reveal itself to you when it reveal itself and. Oh, jeez, I cannot read right now. I am sorry. Doubtless, it will reveal itself to what it will see as a smaller, less challenging foe. Okay. Man, yeah, like I said, I just changed up the owl. Really? We're doing this right now? I mean, I guess I can get some cartridges for you. Thank you. Goodbye. You're dead. Didn't have to raise my blade, do you? Alright. You sent a hostile presence. What? You're done. Goodbye. Oh no, you still live. There we go. You're dead. Stay dead. Like a Minotaur type creature. Mmm. 
impressive baiter. Not once did you falter before the towering Pelopin. Quick to react and adapt you were indeed. Yes, I've seen all that I need to see. Now the threat is no more, let us res return to Warlord's Echo. Well, I'm happy you're happy what you I'm happy you're happy and satisfied with what you saw. Alright, we're doing it the lazy way. Teleport! 60 gil, I can easily get that back. Maybe that's my problem with my gil. I'll save it. I'm doing I'm not gonna buy anything in this expansion. I'll do my best not to buy anything. I'm gonna try and save Gil. This will be the expansion of savings. Maybe. This will ha this has been a lightning experience for me. Not often am I granted the, the chance to witness a warrior whose skill far surpasses my own. For years, I served as guardian of Karyor Karyazar the Gracious, watching over the seal placed upon Valley Gramanda. I would have aided in the feet of ice, too, had the sky ruin not rendered our plans meaningless. You see, it is the duty of the temple guardians to drive off dangerous creatures drawn the Villagamanda's energies. At times, it was all we could do to shield the frozen vidral from swarms upon swarms of beasts. But now, Villagamanda has been laid low. We guardians have nothing left to guard. How about your own people? Of course. This is a cause for celebration. Arkipaka, nay, all of Tulio, Turul, needs no longer fear the Sky Ruin's destruction. And yet, Parmi felt otherwise. Deprived of purpose, I relinquished, relinquished my position. Personally, I wouldn't mind if someone made my job unnecessary. I gather those around you are not inclined to let your talents go to waste. I understand the desire of the rest from time to time, though. At any rate, I thought seeing you in action might move me to seek my next passion, or at the very least provide inspiration for a new combat technique. But given your somewhat delicate frame, I remain skeptical until I observe your power firsthand. I would also be remiss not to praise your economy of movement. Always thinking ahead, looking for the shortest route to victory. What calling has led you to develop such commendable skills? A lot of things, man. Ah, so you are an adventurer. Does that mean your life's purpose is to pursue pursuit? of adventure. How intriguing. Alas, much as I would love to hear your many tales, I will not keep you. But next you have a moment, however, I would be on it would be my honor to speak with you at length. And I got fuel and I can continue your quest, but I will not do that currently. I'm just here for the eighth occurrence. That's one? Now there's one more amongst you. Alpaca? Hey, Garthler, how you doing, man? It's great. An illuminating ritual. Garthler is eager to lighten things up around here. Hail, hey, visitor. Care to partake in one of our custom customary rituals? Fret not for your part to be played is a simple one. You see, the illuminations here, Warlord Echo, make use of glowstones, a rare and precious mi mineral found only through mining. On occasion, we offer up prayers in hopes that their light remains strong and bright. So that's what that is. First, I would ask you to raise your right hand to the saltwater jar and pray for the light everlasting. Strange though it may seem, I assure you it's a necessary step in our ritual. Now, great warrior, slayer of Villagramanda, open your heart and focus. I shall pray to the saltwater jar. It appears your feelings were heard loud and clear. Let us proceed to the next chapter. Now the salt water has received... Oh, jeez. Has received your prayers. You need merely sprinkle it upon the glowstone scattered around the village, and the ritual will be completed. Ah. Also, one second. I am doing something uh, different. There we go. All right. 
Yeah, sorry, I'll tap out, but I'm just doing something. I would have it so the game plays audio while the screen's not focused. But a lot of times I alt tab out for things and I'm in queue watching a video and the music and audio stays playing and it's like, eh. Enchanted salt water. Your favorite prayers have given it a strange aftertaste. Maybe that's just the salt. <laughs> Why are you tasting the salt water you prayed to? Why am I doing that? I wasn't told to drink it. Oh yes, here. Use this to sprinkle on the stones. Please don't drink it. Mmm, it's salty. Alright, there's glowstone number two. Huzzah! Also, if you're wondering, uh, my sage is really keeping up with Gunbreaker, and that's just with dailies. Dailies are a wonderful way of leveling up a class, especially the main scenario one, as long as you get a quick one. Ah, they made them all quicker. Alright. Is that it? Yep, that is it. That's the entire quest. That means, let me open my map while I'm running there. I might be able to fly and I can get the rest of the map. Which I will do. Why not? I can get this little bit of map. There's two locations. Fly over it. That's if this is the last thing. I'm pretty sure this is not telling me I have anything. I see you have successfully completed the ritual, and for that, you have my thanks. Likewise, my fellow Yakoi will be glad to know that an outsider has shared in our culture. When mining the peak for glowstones, we occasionally discover sh shellfish fossils. Some have wondered if perhaps this tall mountain was once submerged beneath the waves many long lifetimes ago. The stone's radiance is a reflection of their joy, shining all the brighter when offered water that smells of the sea. Or so the story goes, thus was our little tradition born. Knowing that it is the will of the great warrior, oh wait, knowing that it is the will of the great warrior that now illuminates our humble village, our spirits are sure to be lightened as well. Suffice it to say, we are fortunate indeed that you are willing to join in our prayer with open heart. May the light of the glowstones ever guide your steps. Uh huh. Yes! Alright, I'm just gonna go here real quick and finish up my map. These are the only two locations I need to do, and then we'll be going to the other locations. Alright, that's number one. And I'll come here if I ever need to for any reason. At the moment, I do not. Oof. I can go in that now. But I guess... Uh, then number two, we are done. We have mapped this entire location. Oh wow, there's actually something up here too. A hot spring? Oh wow. All right, we're done here, time to go. Uh, okay, now we're going here. Which this one's gonna have, I believe six. For each city with an aetherite crystal. Let me check. Two. Oh no, there's only four. Okay, so this shouldn't be too bad. Do I need repairs? I mean, eh, they'll be cheap enough. Hello, Mender, how you doing? Just repair everything I own. Alright. Lanu Hanu. Lanu Hanu, I know you have a quest for me. Right, of the wind's chosen. Lanu Hanu needs help performing an honored tradition. Oka ha. Oho, oho kale. I can't say that. Hey, of course I know your name. Who isn't familiar with Wakumat's companions? Not to mention your friends can't seem to go a moment without mentioning you. <laughs> I'm Lanu Hanu, and I have the honor of being the wind's chosen. Is my fe oh, your feathers are the one chosen for the flow. Well, oh, that's actually really cool. It is my feathers which adorn the festival's flow. I feel the wind has guided you to me for a reason. As a visitor to our village, who has fast become an honored friend, 
I would offer you a chance to become to strengthen our bonds. Okay. Perhaps you're familiar with Landsguard. It's customar customa customary among the winds chosen to save their molted feathers and prevent them to these brave protectors gifts as gifts every few years. At this very moment, one of their numbers making their way to ok Okanu to receive our offering, but there's much more to it than just a simple delivery. And I think it'd be interesting to take part. It would deepen your understanding of our ways, and perhaps you and this member of the Lands Guard will become fast friends. I would start with a small task, if you're willing. Nah, Nahan, Nahan, she, Nahan, she, is the name of our guest, and he was due to arrive some time ago. I fear he may be lost. Could you search the road for him? I'll stay close. I'll stay behind in case he arrives here. Okay. All right. So it sounds like. Nahashi might be lost. Oh, you poor ugly giraffe. Oh, you poor thing. Also, let me double check. Yep, we're good here. I knew you probably didn't want to see that. It's a boring thing. You're just running around with that and spamming it every time. You're looking for me. No, nah, you're not Hanuhanu, unless you're molting something awful. Yeah, I got scales underneath. Ah, so that's the way of it. Well, now you found me, I suppose I'd better get on with it. Sorry for my lack of enthusiasm, I joined the land, land's guard hoping I could bust some skulls, slaughter some beasts. You know, use these muscles of mine. But for my first assignment, I'm lugging crates of, lugging crates of supplies around. It's not exactly what I have in mind. I suppose complaining won't get this done any faster. Let's go meet this Lanu La, La, Lanu Hanu then. Hmm. Nahan Shi is definitely not excited about this. Oh, big boy. I walk here. Shade. Pretty nice. I need a shave. Okay. Da, 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 da. Nahashi, how you doing? I thought I was just coming here to pick up some feathers. My superiors didn't say anything about helping someone. You found him. Now we can begin. Before the gift of feathers is to be bestowed, there are proper steps that must be taken. Firstly, I bid the warmest welcomes to Nama Nahashi. As the wind's chosen, it is my solemn duty to show you the sights of our humble village has to offer. As one of lands guard, it behooves you to become familiar with all corners of the continent, yes? They come with me to the center of Okahano, where you can beho behold the entire village at once. Oh man, he is not into it. He's like, I just want to get out of here. I'm trying to kill things. I don't want to do this. Damn it, it's, you know what it is. Yep. Take it all in, this is Okahanu. As you can see, our homes are made from wood and reeds, both of which the forest blesses us in abundance. But nature's blessings are to be treated with care, for dry reeds can easily catch flame. And if they do, we risk setting our entire village alight. That would actually be horrible. Building waterways through Okahanu is a way to protect us from such incidents. But aquatic beasts can travel them as well. When these beasts become too great in number, we beseech the land guard to call them. Do you now? I always thought hunting, the, the uh, thought hunting duty was just a way to keep us sharp. While I'm here, I'll do. I'll make sure nothing troubles your home. All of Okah Okahanu will thank you. And now for the reason you came: the feathers of the winds chosen. They are used to adorn the equipment worn by the Lands Guard. Oh, so those are the feathers. The wind's chosen. Wow, you guys sh must molt a lot to actually give them enough feathers for all that equipment. The design evokes the image of Hiksaki, the great bird re revered, by revered by all Hanahanu. The feathers give in a touch of authenticity to make the soldiers appear all the fiercer. 
Every soldier's outfit is designed according to their profession, and each feather must undergo an elaborate process of dyeing and oiling to meet the Lance Guard's various needs. So, without further ado, let us begin. I first ask you to come meet me in the gate to the southeast. Hmm, fine. I should warn you, I'm not known for my delicate hands. That one is... Uh, that went about as well as expected. Could you stay behind for a moment, Bader? I would like to hear your opinion of Nahashi. Oh, he's not the most mo no motivated person. I have the same impression. Truth be told, his attitude is the very... is the same as every Landsguard troop who comes here to receive the, this gift. And we're meant to fix it. Consider this as a rite of passage of sorts. The Lands Guard sends troops sends us troops whose rough around the edges want to pop uh, want for polish, and the task we set before them serve as a whetstone. Over the course of our work, they gain a great insight into the history and meaning behind this exchange of gifts. Soldiers with tangible bond to their charge will protect it all more staunchly. In recent days, however, even our treasure trove of knowledge hasn't been enough to rouse the spirits of some, but working alongside someone has, as capable as you, Nahashi may find an extra motivation he needs. Now then, let's proceed to the southeastern gate, and while this goes without saying, keep this little conversation between us a secret. Ah, so they just send the rookies who are like, I don't know, I just want to kill things. They send them basically here to be like, Appreciate who we are helping, and wow, look at those guys. And appreciate the culture and the people you're protecting. Uh, other way. Hmm, I will continue this quest later, maybe. And there's a lot of side quests. What did I do to deserve this? Now I want. Now I know why my superiors were snickering behind my back as I departed. The Hanu Hanu might think this bird god is worth all this trouble. I just want to get this over with. Oh. Alright, see you guys later. Hey, you over there. You probably request for me. Yeah. Uh, Anu Hanu. Anu Hanu. Anu Hanu, how you been? The ripe for the offering, Anu Hanu wishes to share Okahanu's customs with its new visitors. You're Wakumat's companion, aren't you? Uh, Kikshihi, smile upon me. I had hoped that the bird, the great bird, would guide one of the village's saviors to me. You see, the time has come for us to make our customary offerings to Kikshihi. Ah, uh, jeez. It is a ceremony we hold dear, and I would invite you to partake in as an honored guest. You'll join us then. Well, that makes me happy. So happy my feathers are standing up straight. The traditional offering is a fruit that grows in the southwest, and they must be as so they must be so ripe that they fall into the earth. Gather three and deliver them to La Juan. Okay. I am gathering fruit. For you. Ah, I know this one. I know what music will play right now. What in God's name is going on over here? They got pigs. <laughs> there are people flying around. Votive fruit. That's two. And then we got good old number three. And now, uh, what's my random mount today? Oh, Leviathan's horse. And then after that, I'll be going here. Can I? Yeah, okay, I can't fast travel there. Perfect. I'm, I'm curious. I should open chat and see if they want anything. Also, that's 50% done. Good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm delivering all the way there. 
Oh, right, this one's gonna take a little longer than I thought. Nope. While this takes a while, I guess let's uh, get rid of this music. Let's have some Leviathan, shall we? swim goodbye so you can use mountains in the water but not until you get the option to fly i also could die can i dive there no i think the water is too shallow let me see is it that no that okay you cannot dive there i don't think you can i think i hit the right button combination all right well i'm getting now oh okay generic song I remember hearing this song for the first time in Heaven's Ward after you get that airship mount and you finally learn how to fly for the first time. Ooh. God, I remember it took me forever to figure out how to do that. It's like, man, everyone's flying but me. This is not fair. <laughs> yeah, then you learn. It's like, oh, you have to you go to these green points. And you want to think that was a pain? I didn't know at the time, because I skip a lot of things. I didn't know at the time, oh, there's a compass in your, you can get. You have to get the compass from NPC originally. There's a compass you can get. And it will, um, uh, it will show you, of course, where the aetherite currents are. And uh, yeah, I didn't know that. And I ran around getting them all while looking running across the map. Oh, took forever. Oh, hello to what do I owe this pleasure? I got you some votive fruit. This ripe, blushful fruit is said to be a favorite of that bird god. Oh, kihihi. Oh, kakihi. Wait, ka? The eye, Coxia he, Coxie he. Well, we must satisfy with these today. You are more than an honored guest. You are the very heart of the ceremony. After your efforts, bring lahi lah lahi honey, lah lahi hana hana. I think it's lahi hana hana. Yeah, hana hana. Wait, lahi hanana, lahi hanana. Back to us. Coxie he is doubtless overjoyed to see your roll. I am sorry. It's been almost I said that. The fruit shall bear a powerful blessing indeed. Now you must take the previous offering back to whence you came. Deliver these blessed fruit to on, on the Anu Hanu, and the ceremony will be complete. Go with haste. Okay. It's called teleportation. I'm not going all the way back that way. And there we go. Oh, that mount is adorable. Oh, it's so nice. Be nice to have that, as long as it's not a savage mount. Of course, anything savage related, well, I'm just never gonna get. There we go. Anu Hanu. Welcome back. Was Lanu Han Hani? Wait, Lahu Han like Lahu Hani impressed with your offering? Blessed fruit. The smell em emanating from the sack indicates that Kahihi's blessing is powerful indeed. There you go. Yes, I can feel Kahihi's grace emanating from these. Thus, the ceremony is complete. Younger Han Hanu clamor to participate in this rite, you know. It said the fruit offered by Kahihi becomes imbued with its divine spirit, and all who carry them shall be blessed with great luck. Surely you will be too, although you travel far. 
I hope you feel enriched by your experience. Go. With, go with our gratitude, and may the wings of Kahihi sweep ill fortune from your path. Thank you. Now, let's go to the Earthenshire, where I keep on to call it, not lying, the Idlyshire. Because these are moblins, those are goblins. Alright, how are the pop packs coming along? I hope everything's going smoothly, guys, since we helped you. Let's see. All good pop packs must come to an end. Mavmuk is searching for a stranger face to Earthenshire. <laughs> you are better, are you not? You has come been strength lending to Wakalma. Could Movimuk ask for your strength and lend her in turn? The matter is this. Movimuk's craft hand is to retire after long years. His lip, lip slips that he intends to fancy craft one last masterpiece before he does so. But for this, he needs the handy, the hand help of a strange face to the village. And for his name, he is always very murky worded with his requests, so Moving Monk is not sure how, uh, sure what hand help he needs. But if you could exchange tongue flaps with him, she'll be very, very happy feels. Mmm, yes, happy feels indeed. I am feeling a bit tired. It's getting a little bit late during the day and all that. I am only doing at the moment for me, but I'll be doing more later. But for this little session, I will only be doing these side quests. Of course, then I'll be recording more. Anfroy. Yes, I'm Anfroy. Do I, I know? Oh, wait. Aren't you a friend of that third promise, the adventurer from across the water who was asking about the pop packs? That would be me. Ah, I see. Movemuck sent you. I only said I needed the help of a stranger to Earth, Earthenshire. Trust her to pick the on, pick an honest goodness hero. The task I have for you is the trifling one, but it's very near and dear to my heart. I want you to find out all you can about Movemuck. Oh, you want to make... Ah, uh, okay. There's nothing untoward about it, I assure you. I'm intend... I'm interested in what she's interested in, her hobbies, her likes, dislikes, and what she holds dear, and so forth. But for certain reasons that I will share with you later, she can't know this. We've been working together for decades, but now, as my pop pack is about to end, I find that I know no next to nothing about her, but perhaps others who work closely with the Moblins might. Okay. Nope. Ignoring you. Not yet. Alright. Oh wait, actually you are one I need to talk to. Never mind. Colby. Col Colby. Mavmuk and Amphor. Yes, I know their pair well. She's famously very protective of him. Sometimes even rejecting her patrons on orders outright. It is not that she thinks him unequal to the task, you understand. Quite the opposite. In fact, she knows how ex... Ex... Excite, oh, exacting, sorry, her standards are, and how discontented he would be if his work failed to meet them. So anytime a patron attempts to have him lower his standards or designs something differently to how he judges them, Mavumuk will always leap to his defense. As for what she enjoys, well, her delight in Anfroy's creations has not dulled at all in all the years they work together. I should think she likes nothing more. Oh, that's sweet. Soon. Tarot tick. What does Mavimuk Valley most? Her pot sworn, of course. Any Moby who says otherwise is fib speaker. He keeps the treasure he gave her heart side at all times. Or so she once lip slipped to Tarnock. He has a flimsy thought what the, this treasure might be, but whatever it is, it's sure proof of their friend bond between them. Alright, so she has a thing he crafted and still has it with her. Doldrick. Oblender wants to know the brain tickled mav mavamuk. 
That's an easy qu easy ask. Mavamok never lip flaps on anything other than her pot sworn and of Froy. She says he is as good as tricky crafter as he is crafty tricker, always playing crafty tricks. One day, Anifroy draws little arrows around the village, showing Potsworn how to leave Earthenshire without help hands by catching them. Many laugh-minded pot friends follow the arrows and leave for secret hidey place in the woods. Mobies are frighty feels over disappearing Potsworn. Potsworn come back all glitter teeth, but help hands and str but help hands and steamers. All except Mavamuk, she goes around the village saying guilt words to every Moby for and for his sneaky trick, depart. Though it seems that she is nothing but happy feels having back. Hmm. Anna Freud. And Freud. Mm. 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 There we go. Ah, you're back. What so do you find out? She cares about you and the crafts you make. Ha! Huh. She really thinks of me that much. They say that Moblin help hands love nothing more than helping their charge, and it seems it's true. Though it wouldn't hurt for her to show a, a little more often. That's not the only thing you've learned, and thank you for it. You've given me exactly what I need, so I suppose it's about time I told you what I need it for. The truth is... Uh, hi. Is Peter still hard at hand helping? Yes, he is, so I'll thank you for not bothering us. You do remember that I specifically asked you to leave me... Leave me be until my work is complete. Always such angry words. Mavmuk means no bother. Just needs to do daily moby do mo mob duty. Sharpening tools until they sparkle shine. And I'm telling you that I don't need you to. Not now anyway. I'm almost retired. All my com commissions are already dealt with. Until the end day of the pop pack, Mav Mavmuk will uphold her part. Ugh. Part it is her dude as help hand. Oh no. Don't get an argument. Why do you always have to do be so? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Mavmuk. I'm going to put my foot down. I ex expressly forbid you from touching my tools until my work with Bader is finished. And Mavamuk will do as Anfroy asks, though it makes her shamefaced. She will, she will hand turn to other duties. If Anfroy needs her, he only, he has only to hail call. Oh, she just wants to help him with his last job for her, and he wants to craft something nice for her. I wish I didn't have to do that, but I'll be needing every one of those tools to achieve my aim. That aim to make a farewell present for Mavamuk. Yeah. That's eh, understandable. In all these years I've been working here, she's been my guardian angel, answering my every prayer before it even makes it to my lips. Even in these recent times, when the help hands have grown too far for the number of pots sworn, her service hasn't lapsed at an ill. Now my service is coming to end, I want to do something just for her, to thank her for everything she's done for me. Yet despite her knowing me better than I do myself, I discovered that I didn't really know anything about her at all. I tried to speak with her to learn what makes her tick, but she always brushed me off. Said she that she only wish as or that her only wish would, as a humble help hand was to see my wishes realized. That got me thinking, perhaps she and other moblins might have might be more willing to open up someone who wasn't bound by a pop pack. Someone like you, and by the gods, the plan worked. I have an idea for a present now. All that remains is to craft it, but without Mav Muck's, uh help, that might be a little more difficult than usual. If you'd be willing to play help hand a little longer, I'll make it worth your while. Okay. So that series of side quests is gonna be basically... I'm uh, making the gift for Mavamuk. 
Oh, I feel like I'm getting a small headache. Find a duck. Divine? Oh, we're gonna get a ring. Uh, yeah, it's better than my one. Yeah, I'll take it. Divine inspiration. Benedict is in a flighty fright. Danger straits. Danger straits. Benedict's twinkler crafter has gone missing. Ven Benedict of asked around the village, and some say he wants to pay a visit to the imperious, the giant's prey place. But the prey place is a dangerous place, full of fiend munching fiends. You are fire, you know? Will the sword lend for Vendglock and save her dear Winkle Crafter from certain doom? I mean, I'll do it. I will save your Twinkle Crafter. Mm, let's go, T Rex, my little dinosaur buddy. Oh man, I'm so happy I got this mount. Oh, I got it from uh, Palos? It was somewhere around there. Eureka, somewhere around Eureka. Hey, you. You're looking for a twinkle gold crafter? That's me, most likely. I'm the one Moblin's contracted arson, specializing in jewelry making. Venadoc was concerned for my safety, you say? How can I ever send my own personal guard? I've ever been fascinated by the unique visual language of the Akko you see. I often visit this place to bask in its grand, imposing glory. Yet I have never taken a step beyond this point. The beasts that lurk within are far too dangerous to the risk delving any further. But with you at my side, I can finally make a, a detailed study of the rest of the ruins. Such as the remains of them, of course. 500 years have come and gone since the giants returned to their ancestral lands, and they have not been kind to the creations they left behind. Yet some of the larger structures still remain. This impressive gate, for one. They say the Akoi towered yelms above even the tallest Zabral, but I wonder if their architecture might have played a part in exaggerating those tales. No, I still think it's a uh, perfect size, especially for that one guy. It's sheer sense of scale, serving to inflate the giant's own. But enough speculation, let's press on. We have much to discover. Okay, guess we're doing this. Oh no, there's a mole patrol right next to you. Oh, hey, a song. Oh yeah, I love this one. Nah, I'd have to level sync. And they're almost done. Pillars of stone overlooking the nave. Fascinating, isn't it? The simple combination of geometric shapes naturally drawn one's eye to the center, all the while maintaining a delicate balance. As the sun sets, as the sun traverses the sky, so too with the shadows of the towers above. Pattern, paint patterns on the ground. And not just any patterns, oh no, calculations. Every stone cut and placed with mathematic precision, div divining the moment of the stars and the changing of seasons, a triumph of both form and function, true artistry. Oh wait, what's that over there? The cliff's edge, quickly with me. I don't know. Hello. Hello. Leave me alone, please. I'm busy. No. The opposite. No. I refuse. There. Oh, uh, well, looks like you finally got attacked. Come on, you're fine. Yeah, and forgive me for racing ahead like that. I was so absorbed in examining every ilm of this place, I clean forgotten the reason I'd never done so before. 
But if anything is worth risking one's life for, it's surely this. Why well, just look at this tower? It's a work of art. It's a tower, yes. To the untrained eye, it might appear a little more in a pile of stone, but look how each brick is cut to and positioned perfectly to align with its neighbors. And not drop of mortar to hold back in place, then back in place. The engravings, too, surely have some religious significance. They certainly inspire reverence to me. Yes, yes, inspiring revenants. That's the thing. Why else would the giants build their temple upon uh, the clifftop? It's not to make daily proof of their predominance over those who dwell the plains below, those who are beneath them in every way. One cannot help but admire them, that their creations should awe and exhilarate us even now, centuries since they were gone. Thank you, my friend. My passions for jewelry craft have been cooling of late. But now I'm positively burning with inspiration. The Akoi's creations can echo through the ages, and so can mine. Turth and Shire and Eternity. Okay. Oh, I'm happy you're happy. Alright, now I should be able to fly. Also, is that done? It is done. Perfect. I can cancel that. Disconnected. I was transferring files on my Steam Deck. It was giving me issues, so I had to do something real quick. Big thanks for bringing Twinkle Crafter back to us. Not only is he safe and well, but full of mindful fruit, too. He says he found it in the Giant's Prey Place. This need for mind fruit is common among Potsworn. Some try to find it in history, some in nature, some even in fire water. Gall. Oh. It is our side of the pot pack to keep them well supplied with it. A duty that is a constant source of brain pain. <laughs> but the ideas they come up with when they have it. Such fresh thinking. Venok can't wait to see our friendly Twinkle Crafter Wangle Crafts next. Man, you have words. I was saying them. Yay. Okay, give me a second. Recommended. Yeah. Oh, it's even a uh, high quality. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, are we good? Um, well, everything on the map, but here and here. So let's do it. What mount am I flying today? Oh. Not gonna lie, I was expecting something a little different. This is the Valentine's one. Do -do. Yeah, this is Valentine's, and I forget one. You get one part of the heart, you don't get the other part. You can get both parts. I only got the one part. Alright, let's finish this map. I see you down there. Might as well get you. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm too lazy to do. There we go. We'll read you maybe one day. <laughs> Eh, this one works. <laughs> and the map here is done. Alright, we have, I believe, one more location. Let me see. We got you. We got you. Now we need Yachtel. Like I said, this episode... Uh, it's mostly just gonna be this. Heck, I might even just make this episode actually this. I'll be like, this one is skippable. You don't have to watch it. And let me make sure. Good. Because then I still have the other, oh wait. Yeah, okay, that's where you are. This one and that, okay, yeah. Also, man, I'm shocked there's a few locations I've gone to. All right, Tia, all right. Aiming high. Tia Raw seems to be taking your measure from afar. And Pierce pleased what he sees. Oh dear. Hello there, Bader. You'll know me. I've seen you keeping company with the third promise. I've been wanting to speak with you if you have a moment. The name's Tia Ra, and I'm a hunter here. Well, almost a hunter. I have need of a strong arm to accompany me on my next foray, and I'll be honored if it belonged to one of Wakumot's mighty companions. I know you must be a busy man, but everyone else has their own duties to attend to, and our village has rule that none can hunt alone. I'd be forever grateful if you joined me. Just tell me what you want to kill. 
Thank you, thank you. I need to take every chance I have to gain experience if I want to be accepted by the more senior hunters. And working with you is just sure to be enlightening. Great, then let's be off. The hunting grounds are north. See you there, Bader. Alright. Not gonna lie, I might even get the level 99 this episode. Which would be awesome. Uh. Oh, hello. Yeah. Are you humping a saber tooth? Our quarry is a Tiati. They're quick and clever and challenge for any hunter, but their meat is tasty enough to make it all worth trouble. They're partial to tree sap, so they're, uh, so they're often up among the branches, nibbling away. If we wait at the base of a tree covered in that stuff, they'll probably come down to defend their score. Of course, they aren't the only animals roaming the wilds. The stealthy Valstar Brocks have made meals of more than one innocent soul, so keep an eye out, eh? That guy? I'll try the nearby trees. You should go a bit deeper in the forest so we can cover more ground. Be back here once you're done. Good luck hunting. Of course, I have to go farther in the forest than you. Alright, no one wants to mess with me. I will mess you up. Or try to, at least. Well, like someone wants to fight. Can't wait to get level 100 and have all my new, like, the combos and stuff. Oh, hello! Just gonna do that. Some of you. Oh, that was it? Oh, okay. Oh. Let's go. I expected to do the others. I just probably, I just chose the perfect tree. Good job, me. Ignore me, fatty coming through. Hey, man. I got your meat. Hopefully you got your quarry. You made it. I've only just returned myself. I'm eager to compare our catches. All right, this one's mine. What? This is a voxel brax. Am I against the, it alone in one? I know this isn't exactly what I was looking for, but like I said, those pose a danger to the whole village. Having one few hungry brax out there is something we can all be... Having one fewer hungry brax out there is something we can be thankful for. I have feel I have a feeling about you, and I'm glad to know I was right. I'm sure they'll let us attempt this trial after this. Hey, I suppose I'll explain. You see, the the reason I'm so keen to gain experience as a hunter, I want to join the Brethren of Brax, but they won't just accept, but they won't accept just anybody. No, only hunters with the finest honed skills and intuition are even considered. I still remember the day I decided I would be one of them. I was young and foolish, and I thought I could hunt on my own in defiance of the rules. Then a beast snuck up on me, its fangs bared, and I thought I was done for. But then an arrow struck it down. It was one of the brethren of Brax. He saved me, and ever since I wanted to do the same, to watch over those in the forest and keep it a safe place for others. I can't think of a better way to spend my days. I'm paying it forward. But their trial is conducted in pairs. I'd ask one of the brethren to assist me, but all them have been so busy lately. They aren't forthcoming with the details, but I've gathered that the beasts of the forest have been behaving strangely lately. Either way, they have bigger things to worry about than ambitious the ambitions of a novice. But you're as good as any of them. If we do the trial together, we're surely to make it through. Please say you'll help me. This is my chance to finally be of use. The trial is as good as done. This is what I wanted to hear. There's no one else I'd rather have. 
This brings me to one step closer to my dream. And I have to do everything in my power to go the rest of the way. Well, I wish you luck, cause uh, I'm going places right now. I also got a story to beat, still. All right, let's go here. Oh, well, I hope you guys like, um, what's it called? Uh, yeah, I think you'll know that by the music. I'm trying to take a shortcut there and it didn't exactly work. Fall Guys, that's the name of the game. I'm actually shocked I forgot the name of that game. I think I've played it, what, twice in my entire life? I got sucked into the hype on release. I'm like, oh man, I need to buy this. And played it a couple times and that was it. And if you're wondering how yes, they have collab with Fall Guys, as weird as that is. Man, look at that water. So nice and blue. Alright. Uh, this I actually had to go to. Alright. Hey! There's a young Zabral here. Secrets in the Cinderfield. The young Zabral needs someone to follow a suspicious individual. Oh, oh there, friend. I require someone with a stealthy tread to help me shed light on a mis low mystery. Interested in the work? Recently, I've observed one of the older residents of Ibrox come and go coming and going from the Cobrit Cinderfields. Quite unusual, since the place is nothing but barren wastelands ravaged by war. Of course, I don't want to be, uh, be seen prying into private matters, so I can't ask the others about doing it. Jeez, uh, I keep adding words. So I, ca I, I can't ask the others about it. But if he's up no good, I need to know about. Will you follow him for me? He usually makes his regular journey to the Cinderfield around this time. Once you find him, stick to his trail, but don't get too close, or else this will all be no for nothing. Uh, okay. Oh god, you're really making me walk. Oh yeah, I'm on the unicorn today. All right, let's get going. And I have to do those two, and then I believe I have... Nope, wrong map. Ah, eh, whatever. I will open my map back up. The Departed. Are almost there. Hello, adventurer. All right, I'm here. The Cinderfield. Now we wait. I'm gonna take guess and say he's visiting a grave. Also, yeah, you clearly don't see me sticking out from behind the tree. I'm hiding. Well, I'm hiding like an assassin, keeping in the shadow. All right, follow mission. This is gonna be fun. Please don't fail at my first play try, or second, or third. All right, I know how this works. Thank you for telling me. Luckily, there are a lot of tree. Dead trees, but trees. Um, eh, this might be stupid. Very stupid. Very stupid. Very stupid. Yeah. 
It's just your imagination. Nothing over here. I wasn't expecting to get into a fight, but this one seems to be in a... Okay, don't go in the circle or he will sense me. I'm gonna just hide behind that stump. Then I'm thinking of going over there. Print. Now wait. I mean, no, I'm looking at this trunk. They're not in the back of your head. Look, this is a very good looking stump. Wow, look at that. Also, look at the gun blade. Ugh. Oh, I just noticed. He has a symbol on the sides of him if he can see you. Ah. That is actually handy. Alright. Alright, let's be careful. I'm gonna go cross over there. Wait for him to come up here, run over there, hide behind that and that. I'm trying to stay away from enemies. Oh, god damn it. I better hurry. No, you don't have to hurry, man. It's fine. You're kidding me. You know, I tried to avoid you. He's out of breath. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, he's going to a carriage, a wagon of some time. What are you doing in the wagon? The goods are in place. Now they I just wait for them. Oh you're doing some bad stuff. Alright, no one saw me. I just have to wait until the goods get here. Hmm. Maybe I'll make it home for dinner. What? Follow me? Here? I guess I wasn't sneaky as I thought, but I'm not doing anything wrong despite how this looks. I'm trained with the Mamook on all under the blessing of the Hamu Rock. We have we have to be secretive about though. You see, we deliver valuable foodstuffs to the Mamook, meats and vegetables that are hard to come by in these parts of the woods. In return we get Jatiki bananas. Each party leaves in the, their goods and carts and collects them when there are others out of sight. For a while, uh, after hostilities uh, ceased, Trey didn't have to be so cloak and dagger, but many of the Mamuja, who are willing to embrace change, have left Tuliolo, and those who are marrying bear old grudges. So we've chosen the path of discretion. Of course, I don't blame the people of Mamook, even the Ikbroks. There are those who can't forget, forgive the past. Trailing like this appeases both sides, even though our dealings are exactly unknown to most. I take it the one who asked you to follow me was young, yes? Too young to know... Too young to know to overlook an old man wandering into these blasted ways. But with relationships, with relations between us and the Mamook finally warming up again, I have not, I may not have to do this job for much longer. Clans, clandestine agreements might become open promises of, of a brighter future. Any road. It's time I took my goods and returned home. If you could tell that last, you lost sight of me and be grateful. She'll accept the truth more easily if she discovers it herself. Oh, I gotta walk all the way back. Oh. I'm being abducted by Final Fantasy VIII UFO. Alright, gotta make my way back.
Then we have to go down here, do those two, and then I believe... I think I did the ones I'm thinking of uh, in the other location, the, um, let's see. Done, done, undoing. I think I did Shaloni. I'm pretty sure I did. It's Heritage Found I haven't done because I'm still doing those locations. So I haven't touched those, so I think I should be good. Come on, hurry up, UFO. Then as usual, when I get flight, I'll finish my map. Continue on. This one sucked because I actually go back and forward. Wasn't near an Aetherite crystal or nothing. Closest one was that one, but nah, it wasn't worth teleporting at the time. All right, here you go. He returned. Did you find out where he was going? He he's too quick for me. Really? Well, these things happen, I suppose. Nonetheless, I thank you for trying. Truth be told, I do have a theory. What he's up to? You see, every once in a while, I s I'll spot people feasting on Jatika bananas. They never say where they get them from. But if that man's venturing into the lower forest, he could be the one smuggling them in. But it's too, too soon to go around making accusations. I'll keep looking in the matter until I find the truth. Let's both get as quiet, eh? This promise you deserve a reward. Thank you. Yeah, keep looking into it. Trust me, you'll, you'll find the reason. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, got two more here. I get flight. And we got two in the other. Oh, four near the location, probably. Alright. Finally getting these done. I am doing a bunch of side stuff that, well, I would say is optional. Flight is amazing. And it really gets you through places quickly. Flight is too good to be optional. Prudent Hunter. Beast of the Heartlands. This Prudent Hunter would appreciate your discretion. You're a traveler, are you? Can I ask you something? Uh, ask your helpers with something. There are too many prying ears here. Come and meet me on the other side. Gold, gold, magic, gro gold magic Grove. Okay. Oh god, can you guys just give me like a simple quest in town? And we are here. Sorry, right, we're only gonna have to cut that one off. You made it. I need your help handling a small but quite irritating problem. Have you heard of Blue Leafkin? Supposedly, were once Mamuja who were cured from some misdeed or another. Those who believe, nope. Oh, Jesus, I just double clicked by accident. Ah! Well, uh, you just have to pause it real quickly. For blessing, blue leaf pin generally keep to themselves deep in the forest, but recently once been spotted wandering around these parts. That's why I need someone of unbeholding of Mamuk's superstition to dispose of it and to speak not a word of the deed. Okay. Right, I'm gonna kill it. You're dead.
Alright. And that's how you help. Alright. Thank you, Traveler. Now we'll be able to hunt these forests without fear. We have many stories of the Blue Leaf Kin, but none agree on who among the Mamul Ja was cursed first, or for what misdeed. Some say it was Dapropo, uh, 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 Dapro, punished for felling trees. They say it was a Bunawa, punished for burning them. Each clan sits to blame lies with another, of course. Honestly, they just tell to keep people away from the danger, dangerous and forbidden areas of the forest. Just the other day, one of our own went and pursued a mark in that direction. Hasn't been back since. That blue leafkin just now could have been... No, it's just a story after all. Anyway, we've done a great service. We'll be sure to keep our normal hunting grounds. Let's see if we can't find a missing friend. Alright, let's go. Oh, well, that one's going. Oh, no. Don't look at... Hello! Keep growing your bananas! I'm very tempted, but no. I saw an entire map done covered. No, I have a mortar on me. Cheetle Jaw. Lost and powerless. Cheetle Jaw's eyes are burning with tears. You're one third promises retainers, aren't you? Please, please, I need you need help me. My name is Cheetle Jaw. My husband and I were attacked by Wivers outside the city. He fed them off so I could escape, but he's no match for him alone. I know I have no right to ask, but given how you treat our. Uh, how how are people treated outsiders? I'm begging you, please save my husband. His name is Gatilja, and he's near Golma Golmaji Grove. Please help him. Yes, we're gonna do this now.
bit sloppy, but yeah, that's a big group of enemies. All right, let's save this guy now. sent me you have my thing stranger I take it my wife sent you wivers don't usually attack people I hardly knew what was happening before they were on us that's neither here nor there let's return to Mamook to see that you are research re that you reserve a proper uh, receive a proper reward Shadilja should be anxious for our arrival as well you can tell I'm getting tired cause now I am but wards where they are Oh, bike again, nice. A short lead bike. <laughs> All right, and this will give me the power of flight. All right. Oh, a thousand, thousand blessings upon you. My Gatulja is safe thanks to your kindness. I don't know what I would have done without, had you not arrived when you did. Most of our able bodied fighters have left the city in search of mercenary work, you see. As I once did myself. You're from Eorzea, aren't you? I, tor I toured across the salt in my younger years. That is until I suffered injury enough to send me home for good. I can hardly manage to ward off the occasional feisty wiver, it seems. Glory days mean little when you no longer you can no longer protect your loved ones. I'm perfectly fine, aren't I? Besides, those wivers weren't feisty. They were positively feral. I still can't believe we were attacked by such normally docile creatures. Sutton had to, uh, them agitated, though I can't imagine what. Still, if our local wivers are being driven into a rage, that doesn't bode well for us. I realize this is more than you bargained for, Stranger, but would you be willing to help? It's unheard of Wivers to attack Balmuja, so we need to determine what's going on before someone gets injured. Alright. Th there's little in it for you, mine. Don't get your hopes up. Thanks. Thank him, dearest. He's, he is doing it as a kindness. Right. Just not used to the open generosity is all. Thank you, stranger. We're counting on you. <laughs> Flight! Alright, who am I flying around? Let's find out. Oh, my black chocobo. Okay. We'll go here, here, here. And then we'll go here, and that should be the map. I'm almost level 199. Wonderful. And there we go. Alright, while I'm flying, I'm gonna get a quick drink. My throat's are, like dry right now. Much better. I have no idea what this is, but it's on the map. Okay. Oh, there's a big boss there. And there. But I'm not here to kill. I'm here just to look. And just like that, we're back here. Oh, there's another one. This one, I think, is going to send me to 99. Oh, yeah. 
One more level and it's 100, baby. Actually, while I'm flying, I'm just gonna do something real quick. finish this location up and well off we go oh i would change a different class to get the xp from discovering but it's so minimal i'm just gonna and we're done here now we're going to shaloni now i'm pretty sure i have all the aether points for shaloni if not well this will be another time yeah, this entire episode, uh, judging by the time, it's been an hour 20, is definitely gonna be. Alright, let's see. I take it a hunt just happened. A really big hunt. A lot of people are leaving. Jeez, that's the hunt train. That is a hunt train, 100%. Everyone's teleporting. Teleporting where? Uh, probably to a different instance, because there's not much going on here. Alright, Tonze. When the bill comes due. Tonze is seeking help with a final one. I need to stop doing that when I'm here. Say, aren't you the one who's stirring up a fuss in town not long ago? I could use a capable hand like yours if you're one lend it. Name's Tonze. I'm not from around here, truth be told, I live in La I'm not gonna pronounce that. La Luwa ten yawawasa. But I'm here visiting my grandson. I was excited to see him after so long, but then I spied him dealing and s I spied him dealing with some unsavory looking man, exchanging unusually large sums of money. I confronted him about what I saw, but he'll say a little more than it's just a misunderstanding, then grumbled as he changes the subject. I realize this is sudden, but could you see if there's anything in, uh, to be done to help him? He's in trouble, I just know it. I guess he gambled away. He gambled too much. Oh, a weight's been lifted off my heart. Bless you, sir. His name is Zitiquata. Zitiquaqua. Zitiqua. Zitiqua. Last I saw him, he was heading inside. He was heading inside the saloon here. This here saloon. The Tony Tawa with the red cap pulled down over his face to cover those bruises more like. Can't miss him. Uh-huh. Hey, buddy. Wait, let me guess. You gambled away a lot of money and you owe. That's usually what it is in Western. You gambled too much. Bills come due. Ah, a new face in town. Uh, what can I do for you? I want your money. Thinks I'm in trouble, does he? There he goes, jumping to conclusions as usual. I thought it'd be less of a hassle if I didn't tell him. Truth is, I've been helping other folk in town with their money troubles. Matter of fact, the man you saw leaving just a moment ago is one of my clients. I should probably explain from the beginning. My work involves loaning guilt to folks having trouble with coin for one reason or another. There's a reason I don't lend them Pell. Give them... But I'll get to that in a moment. Okay. My family's lived here long before there was ever a town here, but then people moved in and they started expanding. Before long, Chemica's family approached us about selling our land. It was around the time when trade overseas was gaining in popularity. I had it on good authority that Gil was on its way to becoming common currency here in the wilds, so I decided to sell the land for Gil and use those funds to start my business. 
Sure enough, everything one is expected and the business is starting to do well. It's not without its troubles, seeing as money is involved, but I never lend to any unsavory types. You're a loan shark, kind of. Why not simply explain all this to your grandfather? The whole point of me keeping quiet was so that I wouldn't make him worry. Seems my silence only made things worse. He found himself in the real tight corner once. Gills got him there. And now he wants nothing to do with stuff. When I told him about my idea of to sell land the moment Gil came out of my mouth, his mood, his whole mood turned sour. He said he put everything in my name, and whatever happens after that is on me. It's not exactly easy to bring up my work when it involves the one thing he seems to hate more than just more than anything. It's maybe, but maybe it's time I change that. This job does more than put food at the table. I'm able to help people, help people this, help this town. How do I get him to see that? I got it. You're gonna come and watch me work. Grandpa won't hear anything I have to say from Valve's Gill. We might come around to first hand account from you, so come and see what good work good my work does for Asawati and how the people here. He did say you'd help me, didn't he? I promised to make it worth your while. Okay. <laughs> right then, before we get started, I should probably know who it is I'm working with. Bader, huh? Wow, well, Bader, first job is to go see a miner named Wak Wakawaze. He had a pretty bad accident at the job a while back, had no money for treatment or much of anything, really. So I loaned him the gill he needed to keep him on his feet. But now it's well past the time he returned. Uh, he returns what he owes, and he hasn't said a word. There's been enough time for him to not only return to work, but also receive his wages. Several times, in fact. He usually comes here in town. When he's not working, and his shift ends soon. Meet me, uh, meet me just outside town. If we're lucky, we'll catch him just as he arrives. Oh yeah, the airships are still in the sky. Yeah. I think I chose a decent spot to start doing all these. Hi, man. You're here for the money. Uh it's gonna pay, honest. I just got mixed up on dates. Can we solve this later? I'm busy. I know you're lying, Wakazi. And you're not going anywhere until you look me in the eye and tell me why you're late paying me back. He's obviously hiding something, but I'm not looking to start trouble. I don't suppose there's anything you do, uh, persuade him. Maybe a little flex to show him that we're serious. Alright, uh, let me see if I can find flex. Uh... No, not that. Ah, here it is. There we go. Hey man, look at these pecs. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, let's look at those arms. I mean, it's hard to look at them through this coat. And those obscenely ripped neck muscles. Fine, fine. Just put all that away. And that ugly? It's all here, and with interest. If you had the money, why go through all the trouble avoiding me? When I was still on the mend, my lady friend took real good care of me. See, I wanted to buy her something fancy to thank her. Well, oh, I understand. Really, I do. But if you really want to make her happy, you need to get your life together. I'm willing to give you a loan one last time, but we're going to have a long talk about how to manage your savings first. You're right. What good am I to her if I'm out in the street without Gil or even a pell of my name? I'll give it some thought and we can talk later.
Reminds me of the character from Yakuza 4, the Lone Shark. Sky Finance. I can't blame him for wanting to show his appreciation to a loved one, but it's no excuse to get carried away with his spending. So, what do you think of my job? The money I loaned him paid for his treatment and supported him through his recovery. That has to count for something, right? I'm still not convinced. Well, there's always a next client. When you're ready, we can be on our way. <laughs> nope. I'm sorry, but if you do, I am leaving town. You lie, partner. Oh, they put a song with these. Originally, these just had the generic song, but now they actually have the song. Nice. Because originally these had a different, the uh, one generic song that the uh, dragon-like creature I was flying originally had. But now it seems they added one to these, because these are one you can get from the Mog shop. I think I bought for five bucks. All right. Meeting of the Spirits. There's a concerned lass over there. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Meeting of the Spirits. If you're planning to explore the local area, you may as well make yourself useful in the process. Local Traveler, I wonder if you're out exploring, you might be able to do me a small favor. There's a cave network nearby where my daughter's gone to offer her prayers, but she's forgotten an all-important fish oil candle. I would take it to her myself, and more for this terrible pain in my foot. Oh, I heard something fierce of dust. You think you can give her this candle? I guess. I mean, I don't really have... Oh, wow. Oh, right. She's all the way over there. Okay, let's go. Oh, I mean, I'm abducted again. Don't look at me, Lollafell. The aliens aren't real. Hello? Um... You are what you drink. I mean, I guess. Yeah, this episode's lasting a little longer than I thought. That was gonna be an easy in and out, but then again, I am getting all these quests done. There's been about four to two in that first location, four in the rest. And each one has a story to tell. And I am traveling by foot because I can't fly, and a lot of places don't have a crystal nearby. And we're getting a little more of the feel, the people, and the locations of the regions. At level 99, canyon bats, don't mess with me. When I reach level 100, I'll be able to activate Bloodfist. And I don't get a new ability, except Reign of Beast, which actually I'm gonna have to find a place on my hotbar for that. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Uh, keep that there. No, Reign of Beast, I wanna put here. All right. And then, of course, we get Noble Blood and Lionheart, which become my Nash and Fane, I believe. My hot bar's messing up. Complaintive Woman. Excuse me? Something I can help you with? Hey, there's a fish oil candle. It's made from combined combination of fish oil and aromic herbs. It has distinctive yet not unpleasant aroma. You came all the way to deliver this. I'm also awfully grateful to you. And I'm all for realizing I've forgotten to bring a candle. You see, these cave caverns are sacred ground. Where we come to pray to our ancestors and more recently deceased. These flames provide the living a way to commune with the dead. And thank you. And thanks to you, I can light my candle, light a candle of my own and say a little prayer. There we go. 
Since you're here, maybe you can stand before the flame and offer a few words to your departed loved ones. It doesn't matter where you're from, all spirits are welcome here, living or dead. In this game, there's actually quite a few forgotten fallen ones over the ages. Wow, this mount does not match the tone. Yeah, eh. You lose, a, you lose a lot of companions and people in this game. Then again, you don't lose that many when you get in the... Honestly, Stormblood? Yeah, because a lot of people die in a realm reborn for reasons. Heaven's Ward, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember uh, everything I remember in Heaven's Ward. I remember that. And then Stormblood, not really. I mean, there's some really touchy, touchy, touchy moments. Especially with Gosetsu. And Wonker, not really. I mean, I guess there's the man in bad guy. You feel bad for him and his cause and everything and what happens. Um, and then and Walker, I mean, technically everyone <laughs> dies. <laughs> I skipped that cutscene. I just know people came back. But a lot of people died in Walker, but not many of your main companions. Welcome back. I'm guessing you're able to find my daughter about her usual spot. She's never, she, she never was the one to do things the easy way, you know. As much of a stickler for tra traditions as she is, she actually works for the railroad company. Still, I gotta hand it to her. She manages to work towards a promising future without losing sight of her roots. I sure am proud of her. But don't tell her I said that, will you? Wouldn't want her getting big-headed or nothing. Well, I'd say for me that my daughter of mine has taken up enough of your time. But it was awful nice meeting you. Thanks a million for helping us out. Gentle Wednesday Springs, here I come. We're getting there. We're getting there. She's show. I said, she yeah, Shio. Shio. Hello, Wasnape. What's the nappy? In that case, the blue devils. The snappy over Shinza Wenza Springs is for one border. Hey, you traveler. Come from here down the Tully Wolf train, right? Happy to see a woman on the road. Maybe a nurse in the limb. So we're ahead for such. Not really, no. No sign, huh? I work here at a refinery, and it seems I have a problem. It's a friend of mine, Ka. Kayamene, Kanemene. She set out for Tuliol not long ba back, but only her heroic return, pulling on an empty wagon. Was thinking the animal just got spooked by something. That Kamene sprawling in the dust and hightailed it back here, but if you didn't see her, say, so could you go take another look around? Could you? I'd go myself, but I'm two hands down at the moment. Alright. Thank you, friend. She's taking the cargo, it's really in the station. Just take that, okay. Yeah, I'm getting tired and impatient. <laughs> Do not mess with me. I'll destroy you. Yeah, I hate to skip through some of the dialogue like that, but I am getting a little tired and all that. I'm like, eh, let's, uh, speed this up just a little bit. Oh, there she is. Hey, man. Hey, uh, Kayaman. Kayaman. I mean, Kayamini. Kaimini! Alright. Ah, finally. You don't know how good it is to see a friendly face. 
Well, I could be here to murder you. I wouldn't say friendly. You don't know that. Want Snappy sent you? Gods. He's gonna dock my pay, isn't he? Well, at least Aronic and the wagon made it back. Good thing. It all happened after I dropped off the Cerulean, too. Don't want to think how much the company would charge me if I lost the load. Maybe that's what the beast was after. Oh, I didn't tell you about the beast, did I? I was out of the from the trailhead when it sprung up us out of nowhere. Naturally, my runak bolted. Managed to hold on this far, but I eventually lost my grip and took a dirt bath. Still, I could have been worse for wear. At least I didn't break anything, and it was you that found me, not the beast. Speaking of which, you didn't see it on your way down, did you? A horrible blue blobby thing. Uh, no. Oh, there it is. Hey, 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 me, I know I'm stupid, but kind of right there. No, it's right there. Yeah, right there, there we go. It's a slime. <laughs> oh, here we go. Just like that. Oh, God, it's the beast that found me. I hate to say, I don't think it's coming after you. Um, it was a lot more aggressive down by trailhead, I swear. Why isn't it attacking? Um, I guess it took one look at you and lost its appetite. Thanks, partner. I've lived here all my life, and I've never seen anything like that blue blob before. But others have. I heard about them from my fellow tra uh, tappers like cerulean with skin they say started showing their ugly faces a few years back prowling around the wells they reported it to the foreman but they weren't interested the way they consider it as long as we got all our limbs attached the blobs aren't a threat but they didn't well bear change their minds about them now if it's not enough to have one of their beast's employee, uh, best employees have could have been killed, they could have lost a wagon load of Cerulean. Say, hey, Bader, could you come back to the company offices with me? They can't wave it away if we both. Uh, they can't wave it away so easily if both of us are telling the same story. Yeah, sure, understandable. It's after the Cerulean in the wagon, and you are in danger from that. Thank you kindly. Come on, let's head back to uh, the springs. Yeah. You can tell when I'm out of energy. It's like, ah, let's just... Got that. And now I'm happy again. One of the better boss themes and Stormblood, not gonna lie. Next to the saddest fight. For a moment there, I didn't think I was ever going to see this old place again. And I can tell you right now, I'm not taking another wagon out until the company tells me exactly what they're going to do to protect their precious employees from the rotten blobs. Are you, going, are you with me? Yes. I'm with you. Oh, wait, I don't have that attuned. And yet I have all the aether points, but I never attuned you. That's absolutely hilarious. Also, this is Guru this theme. Enjoy it. It's actually not bad. I prefer Shiva's. Hers is the best one. Swear. Throw neck. Oh, 
Alright, for copyright purposes, don't need Square Enix attacking me, so I'll just change my mount. Square's a bit weird. Sometimes they'll copyright claim you for that, or yeah. Still shocked they copyright claim me for the arc. I kid you not. That's why I'm not using the arc much at the moment. Also, I got random. Gorilla Strong. Look at this boy. Oh, yeah. Okay, I now remember this place. I'm like, have I not been there? No, I have. Oh, someone's being abducted as we speak. I'm shocked I did not attune this Aetherite. I knew I forgot something. That's hilarious. I thought I got them all. There we go. Now we can teleport. All right, there should be a quest to the south. Concerned herder. Everyone's always concerned. Runek seeker. The distant lowing. Uh, dis the distant lowing coming from the far reaches of Lake Tori seems to indicate something amiss. Hello, well met traveler. Have you perhaps seen a roar calf around here? I spotted a youngster south of Lake Tori. It seems they've gotten separated from their kin. While the hungry fiends that roam the area, the poor beast doesn't stand a chance much, stand much of a chance without someone to protect it. The thing is, I'm not cut out to defend it and from any well be predators. You, on your hand, seem to be more capable on ha of handling yourself. Would you be willing to seek out the calf and escort back in my stead? They ought to be somewhere, okay, it's the south. All right, let's go. Ah, Sephiroth. Really good theme when you get to the lyrics, dude. It sounds like a Devil May Cry theme, I kid you not. But... Alright, Ronek, Calf, I'm coming for you. Breaking the jaw. Oh, come here, you. Brrr. Lost Road Neck Calf eyes you expectantly. Escort the Lost Road Neck Calf safely to its owner. Should you fail to defend the calf or move too far away from it, they'll return to the starting position. Okay. I immediately put this on. Come on. Move. Come on. Come on, buddy. We got this. Come on, you're gonna make a wonderful Ronak. Come on, buddy. Let's do this. God damn it. Everyone look at me, not the Ronak. Let's go. We're almost there. I bet your mother would be happy to see you. Also, everyone's going for that. Like, there goes the train. Choo choo. Yeah. Man, Ron, that caps must taste delicious. Somebody. Hey, 
guess who I found in the wild? Here you go, buddy. Ah, there you are. You returned the calf. What a relief to see the head so unharmed. You'll be surprised how often Ronek calves go astray. In most cases, they fall prey to some fiend. But such is the way of nature. Though, though if you manage to get it, uh, get there before the fiend and, and raise a calf from a young age, they make for excellent beasts of burden. I'm not suggesting I go as far to kill a calf's parents to single one out yet. Yet, I do make a point of rescue, trying to rescue any stragglers I happen to cross. The way I see it, that as much a part of nature as other fate of Ornette could meet. Thank you, Traveler, for bringing this one back safe and sound. I'll do my best to take care of it, okay? Da, 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 and flying time. Alright, let's fill my map. Oh! Wow, what a fitting end. Alright, let's undiscover this entire map. Alright, here we go. Hmm. Well, yeah, next time I'll be continuing with the MSQ, just this time I want to do a lot of few side things. I want to just finish the maps in these areas and, well, mostly get the Aetherite currents. Also, what is this? It seems special. It's Thanness. Hmm. Yeah, this episode, these are all done. The only one I haven't done are Shaloni's. That's because that location is still MSQ, and although I think the quests are available, but yeah. I'm not going about that location at the moment. Whoops, didn't mean to stop. Yeah, we'll get these three sections and off I go. Also, I know, because I, you know, see my analytics and all that, because, yeah, you know, I upload on the channel. It's mine. Only a couple people are really interested in these, and I can see how many I watch it and how long they view it. I wasn't expecting this one to be popular, not lying. I didn't expect to get many views, and that's what I'm seeing, but, eh, whatever. I'm doing this mostly for me, like, everything I play on this channel. Like, a bunch of games are from the past I want to replay, some of them I never played. And then there's this one where I want to play it, but I want to also put myself more... I want to make myself more invested in it. Because a lot of the other times when I'm playing the MSQ in these games, I do not pay attention to the story barely. I'm just like, ah, let's get through this. The only time I ever did it was around Reborn until the ending. A little bit of Heaven's Ward, but I barely remember it. Stormblood. Then Endwalker was pretty darn good. And then Endwalker, I basically skipped all of it. Wait, um, I might have difficult saying names here because, yeah, they are. Ooh, spelt bad for me. But yeah, I'm enjoying this. And, you know, for the couple few who are watching it, you know, I appreciate it. But yeah, I don't think I have much left of this game. If I guess maybe another three, four parts. Because I'm already level technically 98 for the MSQ. 97, my bad. So I still got a little bit. But yeah, I think if I guess, since that's 97, at the end of 97, if I had to guess, I got five more episodes of these. And then I got the trials and stuff. Which I'll get there one day. The raids and stuff are out too. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here, and I do appreciate you guys for you know sticking around this, this series if you you know are watching it. Uh, this one though is gonna be a bunch of nothing, but all side content has to be done. And well, with the side quests being there, I'm like, oh, I might as well include them. 
Well, I'm gonna see you next time. I'm off to bed and all that. So I'll see you. Good night. Goodbye.